All right, so I leave for the Pacific Crest Trail in two weeks, two weeks from now. And I thought it'd be fun to look at some of my food, some of my preparation for this hike. Um, but first I wanna answer one of the questions that I've gotten more on this channel than any other question in the world. And that is about the, the dinner that I eat. Because for the past six years or so, on all of my through hikes, on all of my backpacking trips pretty much, I've eaten the same exact thing for dinner. And we're talking hundreds of nights eating this. Now there's no real magic to this. It's not that it's some crazy superfood or anything. It's more so that uh, it's cheap. I don't have to spend an arm and a leg to buy this. It's very hearty and fills me up. It has a lot of calories. And also it's very simple to prepare being ready to eat in just 10 minutes without even needing to cook it. So what we're talking about here is rice and beans. Specifically what I'm bringing on the PCT is refried beans, which we'll get into. So let's take a look at some of the ingredients here. As for the beans themselves, I use one of two brands typically. You can find Mexicali Rose at uh, a lot of local grocery stores in the ethnic section, or online of course or specifically what I'm using on the PCT this time is Santa Fe Bean Company. Both of these again are refried beans. You can use whole beans, but they take much longer to cook and much longer to prepare. Now to prepare this meal, I use two to three ounces of beans. Now as for the rice, I just use your standard, easy to find at any grocery store, minute rice and I use about one to one and a half ounces of this rice. Again, just like the beans, it doesn't need to be cooked. Then kind of to top things off, I have a couple extra things here. I add some olive oil. So we have two to three ounces of beans, we have one to one and a half ounces of rice, and then I add one ounce of olive oil just about every night. The olive oil adds extra calories and it adds some good flavor. Though, I will say that the beans here do come pre-seasoned, so you don't really need to add any of your own season. Now to top things off, because beans are a little bit, uh, you know, mushy consistency in a way once prepared, I add some Fritos to give it crunch and again, add more calories. So all together with the ingredients that I had showed you, this bean and rice dinner is around 900 calories. You can certainly add more given the avocado and extra things not shown here, but about 900 or so calories, which I think is pretty fantastic considering most mountain house meals don't even have that much. So anyway, this is what I eat while I am on the trail. Now how you kind of prepare this is I use a small peanut butter jar. I like the peanut butter jars because uh, I trust it not to leak. So you take your little peanut butter jar, you'll add your rice and beans into it, and then you'll just add as much water as you want. It's, again, not a science. There's no real magic to it. So that's my dinners. Uh, every single night, every single box, there is an equal amount of dinners for the nights that I'm gonna be out there, and they're all beans. So let's talk about these boxes real quick, though. I am sending myself nine boxes on the Pacific Crest Trail. So I think for most people, boxes aren't something you really need to prepare before you go just because, you know, you don't know what you're gonna want three to five months from now. Still, that said, I like doing them because I think boxes can help me to hike a little bit faster, hike a little bit more efficiently. They help me to save a little bit of money all of those reasons because I'm spending less time in towns. It's just the way I like to hike. So for, for me, I like boxes, but I really think the only boxes you're gonna need to prepare are gonna be up in Washington State, and that is so far away that it, it's gonna be best to just prepare those once you're already out on the trail. If you're gonna send yourself boxes before you go, if you're gonna prepare them from home or wherever you currently live, don't just send yourself Pop-Tarts and ramen and tuna because you can find those in every convenience store or trail town 
ever, <laughs> you know, so to open up your box and to find the same stuff in your box that you're looking at on the shelves there is is not great. So I oftentimes like to send myself uh, more specialty items, maybe more nutritious food or uh, just food that I'm not going to find out on the trail that I'm actually hiking. This one is for Kennedy Meadows. Even Kennedy Meadows, you know, you can rent a bear can there. You can rent like an ice axe and micro spikes there. You don't really need those before you go. But I already own a bear can. I've owned it for many years. So I'm sending myself my bear can and then I'm gonna have to send it back later from the trail. I don't send boxes really to post offices unless that is my only option. Because post offices have weird hours. They're often not open on Sundays. They don't stay open late. They're not open early. Many of them aren't open for lunch. So post offices, you want to avoid those if you can. And instead, see if you can send a box to a restaurant, see if you can send a box to a local resort, motel, hotel, or anything like that. There's all sorts of places along the trail that you can send boxes to, businesses that is, that aren't post offices. Now another piece of advice is don't send yourself shoes before you go because a lot of people's feet get larger over the course of a through hike. So you may be starting out the trail in a size nine. Three weeks from now, you may need to size up to a size 10. I like to just buy online and have it shipped to a local trail angel or a hostel if I can. So I don't have any shoes in any of these boxes. Now I also have the food that I am starting this trail with right here. So this is going to be my food bag to start the PCT. So let's take a look at everything I have to start my PCT journey. So here is all my food to start the PCT. In the past I had done a video where I showed you guys exactly what I had in my resupply boxes. Uh, you can find that among my Arizona Trail videos. But this is the food that I'm actually starting the trail with. So you can see I have some Justin's Nut Butter. I love the stuff. I have some dried mangoes. Got my little peanut butter jar. I think Peter Pan is the brand, which I will be cold soaking my food in. I have lots and lots of electrolytes because this is the desert and I'm going to need a lot. My plan is roughly to have about two electrolyte things per day or, you know, depending on how I feel is how I'm going to take them. I have some little organic Annie's uh, fruit snack things, which are fun. Nice little granola bars with some fruits in them. I have some more nut butters. Again, kind of a little bit more fat in here. Now these Red Mill Oat Bars are fantastic. I absolutely, absolutely loved those. The last uh, hikes that I've brought them on. I also have a bunch of these Fig Bars. I've enjoyed them in the past and they were on sale. So hey, Fig Bars. Got a couple Cliff Bars because I'm not tired of those yet. Again, just a little bit more hearty of a thing. I got some Bobo's Bars, which generally I eat for breakfast. It's got a lot of calories in just one little bar here. And I also have a Green Belly Meal To Go Bar, which actually in my boxes, I have a ton of those Green Belly Bars. Thank you to actually one of the viewers of this channel who sent me a bunch of Green Belly Bars. So uh, they have been awesome and I'm very excited to eat them on the PCT. It is a ton of calories. I think in one of these little packages it's like 660 calories. Um, I also have some kale chips. I love the kale chips. Uh, just something fun to add into here. You know, not your typical chip for sure, but I will have plenty of time later on the trail to eat Fritos and Doritos and whatever else chips. Uh, whereas to start, I kind of wanted something a little bit fancier and nicer. And now we have the beans and rice. So you can take a little closer look. So these are refried beans by the Santa Fe Company. Anyway, so that is the food I'm starting out with. Uh, there was no real rhyme or reason when it came to buying this stuff. It was just things that I've had in the past and I've enjoyed. 
the only real science here was uh, I was going for a certain calorie amount and I knew I wanted a little bit more than two days worth of food and this is what I wound up with. What you're seeing here is upwards of 10,000 calories. So although I'm only really starting with 2,500 per day, um, further on into the trail I will probably be eating upwards of 4,000 to 4,500 calories per day. Alright, so that is a little bit of a look into my preparations for the PCT, specifically my resupply plan and my food. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm leaving for the PCT in two weeks and I am really, really excited to get out there. A little bit nervous, but I think uh, nerves are a good thing and you know, it just means that I want to be out there, I want to succeed and you know, if I wasn't nervous about it, then maybe I don't care enough. So anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one.